On January 7, 2020, you reported that your husband, Connor Cook, was sick at home and suspected poisoning. The next day, your husband did not return to work, and you claimed that he was still on leave due to poisoning or infection. Same thing happened again on day three. On January 10th, 2020, Kai Whalen from the Garbage Collection Company contacted the Prudhoe Bay Police Department and helped discover a plastic bag containing the head of a middle-aged man in a bank, resembling your husband. When the task force arrived at your residence, they found a human foot in your freezer. Expert examination confirmed that the body part belonged to Connor Cook. During the identification process at the morgue, you said, and I quote, dead people told me to do it. Yes. Susan Benjamin, did you kill your husband? <laughs> I've already confessed. Did you dismember him yourself or with someone's help? You mean physically? I'm sorry. Did I? Get help physically or spiritual help? Physical. On myself. And the spiritual one? The dead people led me. What dead people? <laughs> the dead people. Uh, uh, I can't remember their names right now. Uh, I don't know, dead people. <sighs> you just got here, right? Are you suggesting that the dead forced you to commit this crime? Well, they wanted my husband dead, too. Two? Who else are you referring to? Them. How did the dead communicate with you? Um, they were whispering. And sometimes they sang. And what did they say, exactly? You just got here, didn't you? What does that have to do with this case? And it's obvious that you are definitely not familiar with what we're doing here. You are such a greenhorn. <laughs> You're trying to avoid responsibility and end up in a mental institution. You're not crazy, so you can drop the act. I'm not crazy. I never said I was crazy. Your captain said I was crazy. <laughs> you know what, I'm not trying to look like an idiot here, Brooke. I'm not trying to look like a fool here, Brooke. We're going to appoint you for a psychological examination and end this farce. Okay, can I go back to my cell? No. How did you kill him? They told me to do it with a kitchen knife. That's impossible. There was no blood. He passed out drunk in the bathroom and I stabbed him. By yourself. <laughs> Who's gonna help me? The dead? <laughs> yeah, I, I stabbed my husband and then I took a saw and I chopped him into little pieces. You aren't around from here, are you? You have burns on your chest. Did your husband do that? I guess. Was the murder in retaliation? No, of course not. Of course not. Everybody gets beaten every now and then. What do you mean? Have you been to the factory? Have you been to the factory? You, you should go and see how they work and with what. You see, every day they are underground and they, they sit and they breathe it in and then they bring that back up top. And, and it's the same, it's the same, it's goddamn same every single day. And you know, <laughs> it's just, a little hard. It's, it's, sometimes people get beaten. It happens. It, it's natural. And you know, the, the dead 
they speak, they talk to the living. And, and, and folks, they are happy to die and to kill other folks. But you wouldn't understand. You come down here with your Los Angeles life, which you think is so real. Like, hey, you know, it. You, you don't have to. Look, we're gonna bring in a shrink, okay? Can I go now, Brooke? We're not done. Ugh. You know, you can't hear them yet, but they're around, all around us. They are the living, the gray ones, the dead ones, right? And it's hard, it's hard. It's hard to know what's living and what's dead. And people get confused. Your file says you were diagnosed with cancer about two years ago. Did you have surgery for it? Yeah. Is it still active? Well, the damn tumor keeps growing, so yes. Do you think the dead caused it in the same way they did your husband? Yeah. Did, did they ask you to dismember your husband? No, they didn't care. It didn't matter. I did that part myself. Well, because, you know, he was lying there and I had to do something. And they said it was okay. So you spent the entire holidays in the home with the body. That's right. And after the holidays, you went back to teaching elementary? Well, the holidays were over and the school was open, so I went. Don't give me that look. I would never hurt my students. I love children. It's just that God never gave me one. I know. What do you know? That you don't have kids. I would never bring kids into this damn disgusting place. The sky is always gray and the sun never shines. Ugh, it's an awful place. You know, Brooke, those aren't clouds, Brooke. Those little white fluffy things in the air. That's, that's sulfur and chlorine and other chemicals. You can feel it in your throat. That's it. It's chlorine. Do you think it's safe for a pregnant woman? No, it fucks everybody the same. You think, you think I didn't try? You think I never tried? There's so many. There's so many. There's so many miscarriages. So many miscarriages. There was so much blood. Wait, are you? <clears throat> How long have you been living here? 13 years. 13 years, wow, that's a long time. Is that normal? What do you mean? Well, termination of pregnancies. Miscarriages? They happen all the time. But if someone were to come here and then leave, they would be fine, right? Are you? Are you? Did, did you bring it here? Did you bring it 
Here? Oh my God. Who is the father? Where is the father? It's none of your fucking business. I think I've had enough for today. I'll be back tomorrow. Don't. Brooke. Don't come back. Want a cigarette? No. I really want a cup of tea. Or something sweet. Suit yourself. Can I ask you something? How hard did he hit you? Well, you saw the, you saw the pictures. All because of the factory. <sighs> I've already told you, the factory is killing us. He just, sometimes it was too much for him. It, it, it sometimes got bad. And, you know, well, I don't have to tell you. <laughs> you already saw the pictures. I've seen them. Yeah, well, sometimes it got real bad. And hey, now we're here. Put some bourbon in there. Figured you might want it. Needed that. Between us, keep the dead people story. Better in a clinic than in jail. Can I ask you something? What are you gonna name your baby? <laughs>